going to talk about vacuum sealing. If you've never used a vacuum sealer before, uh, this is definitely something you're going to want to consider if you're usually only cooking for yourself or someone else, small amounts, or if you've got a lot of people to cook for and you try to cook in large volume. Either way, this is a great way to seal your food and it'll last four to five times longer uh, in the refrigerator and it's a much better way to freeze it. You're much less likely to get freezer burn. So the vacuum sealer that I've been using for the past couple of years, it's a food saver. Uh, you can find these often at Costco if you have a Costco nearby. Uh, I find that they're a lot less expensive. Uh, the price that I paid at Costco is a lot less than what I see currently on Amazon. Uh, you're not only going to need the vacuum sealer itself, but you'll also need a supply of bags. Now you have two options for that. Uh, you've got pre-cut bags, which one end is already sealed. So you basically put your food in there and then seal it after it's been sealed. Uh, and then the other one is a roll. With these, you get to custom uh, make whatever size bag that you want. You could just cut the length with a uh, pair of scissors. You seal the one end, you put the food in, vacuum seal it, and seal the other. Now let's take a look at a few different things that you can vacuum seal and some of the benefits. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to vacuum seal some salted cod. This is cod that uh, we took out earlier and obviously I'm not going to eat all of this today. So I'm going to apportion it so that it's uh, prepared for a couple of meals. One I'm going to leave in the fridge and the other I'm going to put in the freezer for another time, could be months from now. So we'll start off with one of the pre-made bags. Cod is a really lean fish. It doesn't have any natural or very much natural fat to it like salmon does. And so what I found is that sometimes the cod might stick after it's been in there a while, particularly if it's been frozen. So I've just got a little bit of olive oil that I've put on a paper towel that I rubbed on the inside of the bag to prevent it from sticking later. And this should be just enough to turn on the sealer. And then you push the corners, stretch it out. And when all the air is out, it'll seal itself. Okay. And when it's sealed, it will let you know. And this is what you've got. It's like something you might buy at the supermarket. It's vacuum sealed. And this will last in the fridge, I find. I've, I've let it sit in the fridge for weeks at a time and it's still fresh when I open it. Uh, I probably wouldn't recommend putting it in for a week or 10 days, but uh, certainly in the freezer, this will prevent it from getting freezer burned and I've left it in there for over six months and it's come out really fresh. Wow. Now, with this one, we're gonna custom size because I'm gonna use, uh, uh, I'm gonna put more in a bag uh, and plan to have a couple of friends over for this one. So the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to seal the end. As it's melting that seal on, I'm going to go ahead and get a head start and put some of that oil in. Just a little bit will help sticking later. Now because this is a custom size bag, we can fit a lot more in there. I like to leave a little bit of space in between the pieces when I can so they don't stick. Thread this in, push the corners. And when the vacuum sealer is done, it'll decide to seal it. And there we go. The other great use for a vacuum sealer is how to deal with leftovers. You know, with leftovers, depending upon what it is, particularly if it's seafood or certain other things, if you don't eat it quickly, it's not gonna stay fresh. So with a vacuum sealer, you're gonna stretch the shelf life a lot longer by vacuum sealing it. Second thing that's better about it is reheating. There are certain things that when you reheat it, it cooks it too much. And steak and certain other things that when you put it in the microwave or something else, it's gonna overcook it and it's gonna change the texture and it's not gonna be as good. With the vacuum sealer, once the food is vacuum sealed, it will hold a lot longer in the fridge. But the other thing is you can heat it up in a pot of water. So you just heat up some water, not quite boiling, but a little bit less. Let the bag sit in there for five or 10 minutes, depending upon what you're cooking. And then when you cut it open, it's uh, warmed up without a lot of times overcooking it or changing the texture. 
We're gonna start off with some leftovers here. Some squash with lobster. So just clean that off before you seal it. And then, as before, push the corners. And the vacuum sealer does the rest. Perfect. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put this in the fridge and sometime within a week from now, when I wanna reheat this, I'm gonna heat up some water on the stove and I'm just gonna put that in there, let it sit for five minutes and it'll be almost as good as when I had it the first time. If you haven't thought about getting a vacuum sealer before, I would definitely encourage you to do it. It's one of those things that you don't think of, but once you have it, it's indispensable. I love it for leftovers, for cooking in bulk. Um, it's a real time saver, and it also saves money on waste. Uh, the food saver is probably one of the top choices to get. You can find it on Amazon or on Costco. If you've enjoyed what you've seen today, please click like, subscribe, or ring the bell so you don't miss out on future videos.